G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of U-Boat on board U-552. It's the second episode of our new campaign. The first episode was a little bit just of a warm-up I suppose. We're trying to use the TDC mod for this campaign. Wasn't very successful with that, but we will be trying again every episode that we can. Hopefully we're going to master the TDC. We didn't really sink many ships in the previous episode, but like I said, we were just getting into it, and hopefully this one we're going to be a little bit more productive. Seem to have a little bit of success with the TDC here and there, so we'll just keep trying, and hopefully in the end it's going to start working out for us. So let's just see how we get on. Let's get out there. We're off on patrol out towards the north east, north, no, northwest Irish Sea today. So hopefully we're going to be able to pick ourselves up some good enemy convoys where we get some target practice done. So a quick look at the map here. We're just leaving the port of Wilhelmshaven in Germany. And we're going to go around the north of the UK and into the... It's kind of the North Atlantic Ocean, I suppose. So we only managed to sink 19,000 in the previous episode, which is pretty poor going, really like to try and get as much as possible but it was just a warm-up we'll get that number up there eventually but we don't have the snorkel so we're gonna have to go up and around the UK to get to our patrol sector Okay, here we go. We've got a little bit of hydrophone contact here. We've got a single ship propeller noise. So hopefully that's going to be a tanker or a merchant ship. And that's going to give us a little bit of practice with the TDC here. So we'll get you back on the hydrophone, please. Okay, they're heading kind of towards us, which is good. So we just plot a small course for them. And then we will be ready and waiting by the time they come towards where we're going to sit and wait which will give us good time to practice with the TDC okay they're just in range now so we'll pause the game take a quick look and it's just a small NA1 it's kind of deck gun material to be fair but we'll go with the torpedo okay so looks a little bit too far away at the moment but we can start working on some of our solution so we know so far that it's an NA-1, which I'm not sure if that's in the freighter category. No, it's in a coaster. Okay. Now then, let's pull up the TDC. And how long is that? It's 75-ish meters. So we'll go just somewhere there, roughly. Turn that on. And start tracking. So now we're going to need to start working out all the angle of bows and distances and hopefully we can get that right so go from our ship wherever it will let me click there I could try and go from the center of the boat I would say that's where our periscope would be and click into there out through the front and roughly 36 degrees so we'll try and plug that into the TDC. 36 degrees in the red, I think. It's a little bit tough to get it exact, but we'll go there. I'm sure we can't be too far off if we are a degree or two out. Uh, distance from us to them, it's actually telling us that there. So it's over 7 kilometers away at the moment that's a little bit too far so we'll have to use a bit of time compression and let them move in but we can set that roughly at seven we'll let them move in and I think we'll do a bit more of a accurate reading though and a quick time check roughly five knots is what they're saying but we will double check with the tool here just to be sure stop the clock there and five knots it is 
so let's just plug that in it already has done it for us so they are keeping up with all the inputs that we're doing to the TDC as well which is quite handy so we need to wait for those two bars in the middle these two when they are both at full 12 o'clock that's going to be perfect time to shoot so the torpedo doesn't have to alter its course too much probably doesn't have to be exactly but that's uh, the best time to shoot would be dead on 12 o'clock for both of those so I think we might just let the ship get a bit more at 90 degrees to us and then we'll just about be ready to take our shot feeling kind of confident about this one I think we've got enough time to do the prep work so we'll just let some time pass by and do our final preparation okay we're ready to take the shot it was actually to the starboard side the angle of bow so lucky I checked now what are we gonna launch I want to launch T1 because they're quite known for being a dud now we don't want to spook this ship we want to get a direct hit and have it over and done with so tube number four fire away And there we go, one good successful strike straight away with the TDC. Great success. And that NA1 should just about disappear instantly, which it is, so that's great news. I've removed the slow sinking mod from the first episode that was just <laughs> ridiculous. Taking far too long to sink a ship. But that's one ship on the board for us now, so let's tidy up the map and get back on patrol. And hopefully we can pick ourselves up a couple more lone tankers like that and we can sink a few tons today we'll just go around the patrol sector in the meantime okay we got ourselves another lone propeller noise here so let's start marking out that position find out where they're heading look like they're heading north okay now there's two targets we'll go with the original one though Hopefully that's going to be ourselves another merchant ship that we can sink down and get some tonnage. Now we just got to be careful here that we're not going to run out of batteries and oxygen actually. But similar process, pull our line through and we'll get ourselves into a good position to intercept. And we'll have to go probably quite a little bit up to the northeast here just so that we can recharge the batteries and get some fresh oxygen back into the boat okay so they're just coming into close range now where we can actually have a look at the ship so let's start off with the angle of bow just let them move in make sure we're not going to lose them now you guys can get that compressor on because our air is a little bit low at the moment so again we'll go from middle of the boat as close as we can into their boat out through the front 40 degrees is the angle and that would be to their left which is port and we can't really see anything it's a bit dark out here i think red lights will definitely help us and it also looks like it might be a little bit foggy so we might actually struggle to see this ship right now yeah, might need to let them close in a little bit more before we can get a visual on the target. Okay, here we go. We can lock onto the boat, but I don't <laughs> think that we can actually see it because of the fog. Well, that's okay. We can do all of this off the map, so let's just have a look. Looks like an empire something. It's got the mast in the middle. So it's an empire explorer, I think. So we'll go into the recognition book, uh, freighters, empires, the yeah, explorer, definitely that one. And now we're going to need to do a little bit more map work just to be sure. I don't like to uh, just assume that the TDT works 100% properly, so we'll do it all again. So just over 80 degrees to their port again is what we're going to go with distance has obviously changed as well don't know if the speed has yet we haven't worked that out and I don't know how we're going to do that without being able to see the boat 
might be able to do it off the map as well. We do have a stopwatch available. So we've got the distance sorted out and 83 degrees to the port side. Kind of tricky to get it exactly to the 83. So there's this little red and green numbers down there in the bottom of the circle and you get it to the, the red one as the side that we want. So we're going to get to three but I don't think we're going to get that exactly. But I think one or two degrees either way must be fine. Double check we've got everything on, tracking, speed and that's all good. Pretty much a decent firing angle right now as well but we do need to gauge the speed. So I'm going to pause the game and I'm going to put a point at the front of the ship without actually clicking on the ship and then we're going to grab our stopwatch and we are going to time this ship for three minutes and then once that three minutes has passed we'll be able to use the little book that we have which will tell us how, how fast that has traveled over that distance so let's just see how that's going to work out okay so point to point they've traveled 500 meters so if we have a look here three minutes now just over 500 meters is six knots and just under 500 is five knots so probably doing about five and a half not so we can just go a little bit over five and hope for the best that that is going to work for us now we better double check everything because as time does pass by I'd just like to make sure so we'll have to do another distance check from where they are to where we are make sure that everything is all good and we can probably have to reprogram this into the TDC just to make sure that it's keeping up with everything that we're doing. So we'll just flip that around a little bit closer to 3000. Uh, make sure you're tracking. I don't know if it is or isn't. I don't know if I turned it on or off there. Hopefully it's on. And we'll just double check angle of bow as well. So 93 degrees now is good. Let's go a little bit. I have to change that on here. It's not really too much, but that would probably be enough to deviate a torpedo. Um, firing angle is not quite perfect right now. I might have to unlock off the ship here and select this. Make sure that's taking TDC information. Load up one torpedo. Lock onto the boat again. And hopefully, this is going to be another hit. So, tube number four away. Lost! too bad that's two for two now so pretty happy with that it does take a lot more a lot more time to process with the TDC but I think it's worth it it makes it a bit more realistic and it's a lot more challenging than it was before now hopefully that one torpedo is going to be enough to do the business for us otherwise we might just have to deck gun this thing down don't want to be doing another torpedo attack on that we want to try and get ourselves a few more ships and there we go objective complete even 4,000 tons is done but it's not enough for us we do want to try and get a few more ships under our belt today make a name for ourselves nice and early in the war but we will head on over here and we may as well see if we can pick up some survivors we need all the extra credit that we can get right now because we have no capabilities of upgrading the ship and I really want that snorkel ASAP so let's just head over here and see if we can pick up some of these guys we can Are there any captains on board there's an officer and the captain yep and what about on the other boat just all sailors by the looks of things well we would 
prioritise taking the captain and the officer, I think. And we will get these messages shot off. And we'll tidy up the map and we'll get back out on patrol. We've finished the patrol as we need to, but we can just keep patrolling around the UK and see if we can pick ourselves up a few more ships to deal with. Hopefully we can. Okay, we've got some aircraft coming in here. We are up on the surface right now, so we are going to want to straight away get that boat under the water. And hopefully they are not seeing us already, although they're flying right for us. Let's just take a look. Can we see ourselves as we can? But we just seem to be looking to kind of get to us in time. So that's confusing. But that other one there is diving hard right at us. That's not looking promising. Um, hopefully we are going to be able to get away from this. Just speed up, I think. Oh no, it's dropping bombs. Oh, they look like they're far too much in front of us. Oh, I don't know actually. They might, they might cause a little bit of damage. Let's see if any more are going to go off. They're right next to us. Jeez. Okay, I think we'll be all right. We'll keep an eye on these guys. We definitely can't have a surface engagement with them though, because there's no way that we can shoot down to. If it was just a single aircraft, I'd probably jump onto the um, anti-aircraft gun, probably try and take that down. It would be good to get one of those under our belt. But I think we're going to make a clean getaway from these guys, and we'll have to stay submerged for a little while, just so they don't keep harassing us. And hopefully we'll be able to pick ourselves up another convoy in the meantime. Okay, there's quite a few ships around here. There's a couple of small groups, a single ship and a, also a small convoy. So we're just going to head right up the guts of all of that and see which one comes first. I'm a little bit apprehensive about trying to get in there with a large convoy. If we're trying to use TDC I just don't feel confident enough to be able to pop shots off quickly enough. Okay we've got a contact here. Let's take a look at you. You're a Swedish ship, so we can't really be tangling with you anyway. But are you the single ship or the part of the convoy? It looks like possibly this is the outskirts of a convoy. Let's get our guy on the hydrophone here. Our hydrophone operator's actually gone to bed, which is no good. So this officer is on the hydrophone. Okay, so what we've got here, we have a British ship. And it's a tanker, I think. Either that or a very large empire. I think it might be a tanker. So let's jump in and we will have a little look-see. Better start turning to face. So we can try and get good shots away and we should definitely slow down. We want to be pretty much 90 degrees to them. So we'll start working out a solution we are quite close to them now. Pretty good angle of bow there for us. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to use a TDC for this one. Might just go a bit old school and chuck it all in with the tools that the vanilla game gives us. Just want to get some more ships under my belt as quickly as possible. And it's a little bit dark. I can just about see stuff. Oh, there's a destroyer there. We do not want to be dealing with that. Our time will come when we're good with the TDC that we can start throwing shots out very quickly. But this looks like a good prize for us here. So let's go tankers. Now which type of tanker are you? Possibly one of these ones. Uh, why do you all have to look the same? I think it might be this one here, an old class. Funnels at the back kind of match up. The stack in the middle kind of matches up. T2 doesn't really, war class doesn't at all. I think we're going to go old class here. Should be a roughly something like that. And we will do distance from here as well. Perfect within range, quick speed check. Should hopefully be accurate enough. Don't want to be using all the tools. 
TDC is good, but it does take a lot longer to um, try and process a solution. So every now and again I just want to throw one out there and get it sunk. And this is a big prize for us today. This early stage of the war, it's good to get some heavy tankers down. I think we get a lot of credit for that. That's going to go a long way for us to upgrade our ship. And so the back of the boat coming through the crosshair now. Stop clock. That was almost a little bit dodgy. Didn't see the ship because of those waves. Now angle bow. Tidy up a little bit of this crap. Just double check everything. A bit of time has passed since. So center of our ship roughly. Right through their ship. Okay, we're looking at about 71 degrees to the starboard side, so we'll get the tool out for that. 71 degrees, that's a lot easier to use than the one on the TDC. And we're not using the TDC, make sure the red light's on. Two torpedoes, should be plenty to get through this. Should make light work of a tanker. And we might see some explosions, or hopefully a big fire with this one, but tube one. Uh, tube 2, tube 3, fire away. Bosh, there we go, two massive torpedo strikes, massive fire on board and plenty of explosions to go with them. That's what we want to see. She should be going down without a doubt, there we go confirmation the damage is done and she is still blowing up that's great news that's going to be quite quite a few tons off that ship I'd say 10,000 or more grab a quick screenshot there that's a good looking picture but she's definitely going to go down sinking like a sack of potatoes right now it's going to be a fair few tons for us we can't touch that Swedish ship but we may possibly go and take a look at that small convoy that was around we might be able to get a couple more attacks in before we head home okay we're just coming back into port now we did have a little look at the convoy but there was just too many enemy destroyers there for me to be trying to deal with at this stage I'm not confident especially just trying to use the tdc i don't feel like it's the right time to try and tangle with too many destroyers there was only really one or two ships in there worth taking but the boys are back we've all done our second patrol now so we're going to get some medals which is cool good for them and what are we going to get anything well we're almost at the at one of the good ones so how much did we get Thirty-three thousand. so yeah not really that much but again we're still warming up the bigger hauls will come later down the track so we sunk 14,000 this time, 10,000 of that was in a tanker, not too bad. Well there we have it guys, hopefully you enjoyed that episode. We are getting better with the TDC, it's just going to take a little bit of time to get used to it and become efficient, but that will come further down the track, we'll just keep popping along with it and time will tell. But hopefully you've enjoyed the episode and you're going to enjoy the series, so like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.